How to stay in wood doors. Wood doors are a welcoming and classy sight in any home. If you want to clean up old doors or finish new doors, learning to stain the properly is a great DIY project for experienced home improvement experts and novices alike. With the right tools and the right process, you can stain wood doors to highlight their natural beauty and textures, and learn to protect the stain with finish to keep your door looking great for years. Prepping the door for stain. Remove the door from the hinges. It's important to remove the door and lay it out flat to stain it properly. Most wood doors should be able to be removed fairly easily, without fear of damaging. Don't try to stain doors while they're hanging on the hinges. To remove the door, pull the pins that hold the hinges together using a screwdriver. Push the pins up until they release the hinge plate on the door, then remove it. To remove the door, pull the pins that hold the hinges together using a screwdriver. Push the pins up until they release the hinge plate on the door, then remove it. Remove the hardware. To avoid staining the door knobs, knockers, locks, and other hardware, it's important to unscrew everything that's connected to the door and remove it so you can stain the wood and only the wood. Most hardware can be removed by unscrewing a couple of Phillips head screws and should come off quite easily. Keep everything organized so you will be able to find it later, after the door has been stained. Lay the door out flat on some sawhorses. It's usually best to set up a sawhorse in a well-ventilated area before you stain it, as flat as possible and preferably at waist height. Setting a door up on a workbench would be fine, but setting it up on some sawhorses would be even more perfect, if you have access to them. Sand the door thoroughly. If the door is painted or has been stained previously, it's important to sand it thoroughly before you try to stain it. Even if the door hasn't previously been painted, treated, or sanded, it's also good to sand it down to open up the fibers and help it accept the stain more easily. Use an orbital finish sander or sanding pad with 220 grit sandpaper to sand the door quickly and remove minor imperfections. Always sand with the grain of the wood. Sometimes it's also common to wipe the door down with tack cloth before applying the stain. Equals hash underscore note 5. Greater than tack cloth is a sticky piece of cheesecloth like gauze that is yellow in color, helping to remove sawdust and other sediment to clean the surface. Wipe down your project with this and choose an area to stain that is dust free as possible. Use an orbital finish sander or sanding pad with 220 grit sandpaper to sand the door quickly and remove minor imperfections. Always sand with the grain of the wood. Sometimes it's also common to wipe the door down with tack cloth before applying the stain. Tack cloth is a sticky piece of cheesecloth like gauze that is yellow in color, helping to remove sawdust and other sediment to clean the surface. Wipe down your project with this and choose an area to stain that is dust free as possible. Select a door stain appropriate for the wood. Always use a good quality stain with a petroleum base, such as Minwax, Craftsman, mixing the stain according to the manufacturer's directions. Some people think a gel stain is appropriate for smaller areas, while others prefer poly stains for their versatility. Go to the hardware outlet of your choice and shop around for a color and variety of wood stain that matches the type of wood and the kind of look you're going for with the door.